Welcome to Chester Zoo, where we're using renewable heating to heat up a rhino's house. And if a heat pump can heat up a rhino's home, then it can heat just about any home. I'm here today with Mitsubishi Electric to announce a brand new partnership between heat pump experts and the zoo's design teams and their facilities to not only keep the animals warm, but to reduce the zoo's carbon emissions. So Jen, from the zoo's point of view, why is this project with Mitsubishi Electric so unique? The partnership with Mitsubishi is such a natural fit. It might be unusual to those who are seeing us together for the first time, but it's a hugely important partnership to us when we realised the prominence and the importance of heat pump technology. We need to work with others in collaboration towards our common goals. And so we know we can't be part of the problem we're trying to solve and we need to be part of those solutions, getting them out there, getting people involved and empowered to be part of that. I never thought I'd be having a conversation about Mitsubishi Electric doing a home for rhinos. Absolutely, and, and it's funny that the general public was just here and said, how's Mitsubishi Electric in with, in with Chester Zoo? But there's so many opportunities here. We're not just here about technology. We're, we're volunteering with the zoo, and it's about making a difference. You know, our motto's change for the better. This is a perfect opportunity for us to showcase that. So Chris, you're more on the technical side, if you like. What are the challenges with doing buildings like this for animals? So we're really used to doing projects like offices but when it comes to projects at the zoo every single animal habitat is completely unique. We can't always treat the spaces like we would if it was a, a commercial environment <laughs> where we tell people to close the doors and keep the heat in. And, yeah you can't you can't really give those instructions to a rhino can you? No it's not as easy. They don't, <laughs> rhinos don't always do what you ask them to do uh, but we've still got to make sure that the uh, the environment that they're in is uh, is right for them, is comfortable. These eastern black rhinos have come from Africa, so it's very important for us to keep them nice and warm. Since the air source heat pumps have been in, we have noticed a slight change of behaviour. Um, the rhinos tend to sleep a little bit more at the front of their habitat rather than at the back of their habitat. Uh, and we think that's because the air source heat pumps blow out like nice warm air. The air source heat pumps behind me here is one of the low carbon technologies we're employing here at Chester Zoo. We've chosen in particular the Mitsubishi units here, mainly for the product range available, also for the fact that we can get a cascade system which gives us a resilient solution. These heat pumps are providing heat to the rhino habitat. These animals need to be kept between 18 and 24 year, all year round. So these units help provide that and the cascade solution is what works best with the zoo. It must have been a challenge getting the buildings done in the right way and retrofitted in the way to keep the clients happy. Absolutely, some really unique building users that we need to keep happy <laughs> right the way from our rhino house that we have here over to our butterfly house, some really unique species, each with different requirements. I'm really happy to say we've got some very happy customers. We've had a rhino calf born here. Oh, fantastic. So really pleased to say that. That's brilliant. 